All right, so I want to do a quick demonstration just to show how we can add Tailwind CSS to our React project. All right, so what I'll do is I'll use Vite to create a, a React application, and then I will add Tailwind CSS to our application. All right, so just a quick little note on Vite, and I mean, if you're working with React, then you might be familiar with Vite, but it's used to build out web sites. Um, now, luckily for us, we can use Vite with React, and I mean, it's my preferred way of building out my React applications is to use Vite. And also, Tailwind CSS, specifically, accommodates the use of Vite to integrate or install Tailwind within our React project. So we can use Vite to build out our React project and then also it allows us to add Tailwind to our React project. So that's what we'll be doing. I realize um, a few persons when they are working with Tailwind or when they are trying to work with Tailwind in React, they seem to have a difficult time. So Hopefully this video will assist those persons in just clearly setting up Tailwind in their React project. All right, so I am inside VS Code and I'm going to just spin up uh, a quick little React project. Now, some persons when they are creating their React application, you know, there are different ways that you can go about doing it, but I'll just follow a little step-by-step -step process. So first I'll say npm and then I'll say create and I'll say create vit and then I will follow the steps that comes along. All right, so once I type npm create vit at latest, I just press enter and it will give me some options in terms of naming the project um, selecting a framework as well as select the variant that I want to I want to use so for the project name I'm just going to leave the default project name which is V project in terms of the framework we are working with react so I'm going to select react in terms of the variant I'm going to keep it at TypeScript so I'll just select TypeScript and then the project will scaffold for us now it's done I am going to go ahead and follow the instructions here. So CD into my V project, then do the NPM install to install the dependencies and then run the project to start. Well, start development server by typing NPM run dev. All right, so again, if you're not new to React, then this is pretty much familiar to you. So CD into our project folder, and then I'm going to install our dependencies. All right, so we allow the dependencies to install. All right, so our dependencies have been installed with no vulnerability. All right, so I'm just going to now run the development server. So I'm going to do npm run dev. And again, if you are not new to React, then this is not new to you for those persons who are. And just like that, we have our React project or React website. Now, this website out of the box is styled using the default CSS files that were given to us. But we want to use our own style or style sheet or styles using Tailwind CSS. Now, if we go back to the project folder, you will see inside of your source folder, you'll see a file called index.css. And this index file is being used to style our application. Also, there's an app.css file that is being used. So what I'll do is 
I will get rid of the default CSS here and then um, you will still win to style our application. So let's go ahead now and install Tailwind. So I'll stop the server by pressing Control C on my keyboard. I'm using a Windows device, by the way. All right, so we can now go ahead and install Tailwind CSS. All right, so the Tailwind documentation has clear instructions in terms of how you can go about adding Tailwind to your project using Vite. Um, I always say to my students that, you know, whenever you are working with any technology, um, as long as there's documentation, then go to the documentation. If you're working in Python, you know, if there's Python documentation, go to that, right? You're working with um, things like Firebase or any framework, any library. Once there's documentation, then always consult the documentation. So that's what I did. And I found it pretty straightforward in terms of adding Tailwind to React. I would have seen or come across some videos where you know persons are giving instructions in terms of how to do this, and it, it doesn't seem as straightforward. So hopefully this will will help. So first things first, we are going to run this installation command to install Tailwind. Right, so if you want, you can simply just copy this out, write it down, whatever works for you, and um, type it over here. And then we allow that to install Tailwind for us. All right now, once that is done, we will have to now go into our Vite config.ts, or if you're using JavaScript, then it will be JS, we're using TypeScript. In our v.config.ts file and add some imports so we need to import the tailwind library or the tailwind css library and also add the tailwind plugin to our v.config file all right so we will do that as soon as the installation of tailwind is completed right, and it is completed so what i'm going to do now in the root of your react project you should be seeing your v.config.ts file just open that up and we are going to add the import for tailwind and then add the plugin as well for tailwind all right again if you feel the need to you can copy this out or write it down so you can always have it at hand but it is pretty easy to remember as well so it's import tailwind css from tailwind css slash vit and remember your don't forget your your at sign right there all right so let's add this to our v.config.ts file all right, so it's import Tailwind CSS um, from Tailwinds slash uh, Vit, and that's that. Now, the next thing we need to do now is go ahead and add the plugin to, well, the, the Tailwind CSS to our Vit config file. All right, so I'll go ahead and, well, I can put it here. All right, so the plugin is till win CSS and that's that. All right, so again, just go ahead and add your import for Tailwin CSS and then add the plugin as well for Tailwin CSS and you are good to go. All right, so remember to save your files as well. I have auto save in VS Code, so I don't need to save each time. So that's that for the Vite config file. All right. Go ahead 
going back to the documentation now you need to add this import to your main css file so you need to add this tailwind cs tailwind css import to your main css file and for us this is our index.css so you can access your index.css within the source folder and you can simply delete what is here and simply add the import and you are good to go what you need to do as well is either delete this app.css file or usually what i do is i just empty the content so i just remove the content from it altogether but you can also delete it if you want so what will happen now is that your tailwind css will now be used to style your your react application now if we should run the server again development server and just take a note of the react application we will notice some difference from the first time we ran the application to how it is looking now all right so this is currently how the application is looking and this is because we would have gone ahead and remove the default css so we can now go ahead and add our own css and own css in quotation because we can now add css styles from tailwind using the different um, classes right so tailwind allows you to do a lot in terms of styling whether it's setting up columns if you want to use box sizing in terms of colors and so forth we can use tailwind for that right so let me just do a add a quick little um tailwind css class to our react project and then um we can end the demonstration there and then in our follow-up video what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and create a simple landing page styling it with um tailwind css so let's just add some css using tailwind just to see if tailwind was properly set up within our react application all right so back inside of our application folder now i'm going to inside the source folder there is a file called app.tsx because we are using typescript and this file contains what we call jsx all right or you know some versions might say tsx but tsx basically will become jsx but that's a conversation for another lesson now what we are seeing here basically is the content of our application so let's say for example i would have gone ahead, let's say I, I go ahead and remove this div all right and then let's say i go ahead as well and remove the rest of the content and just add our own content all right before i add my own content though um, i just want to point out that by removing that div it will basically remove the logo the react logo and the v logo from our um, application so to i get an error here because these are trying to refer to things that are no longer there we remove those in the div right so if we take that out and then go back realize that the logos those are gone right so let's modify this further so let me say let's remove everything from here all right so this is what we are left with we can also remove this import because we are not using the app.css file anymore 
So we can remove that and I'll just add some style to this H1. All right. Again, if you are familiar with React, when you're adding a CSS class, you cannot just type class because class in itself is a separate concept, right? So to add a CSS class from Tailwind into into react or any other cs any css class even if you created the css class you'll have to use class name instead of saying class now i'm just going to add some general um css classes from tailwind all right so i would have added these three css classes from tailwind um to increase the font bold well increase the text which is basically you know increasing the font um bold add bold to it and also underline this particular um h1 text all right so let's see what that looks like all right and this is what it looks like so we would have successfully added tailwind css to our react application using vit so as i said in a follow-up video to this one what i'll do is just create a basic landing page using react and tailwind css to style but for now without making this video too much longer you know um yeah that's basically it so adding Tailwind to your React application is pretty much straightforward, right? Always go to the documentation if you are not sure about anything, right? So basically that is it until the next video.